This funky but livable house cost $500 in hard cash. The surrounding forest provided most of the materials, and Steve and Fran Ledbetter provided the labor. It was mostly a bow saw, chisel, and uh, hammers. hammers that put it all together. <laughs> The forest had to provide most of the materials because the only way to get to the house is across this hand-hewn bridge and up a steep footpath. The way we found this was to follow a deer path and we found this clearing and then we built our house here. The original A-frame was constructed before the arrival of any children using fir poles, hemlock nailers and cedar shakes. As the family grew, so did the house. First, the addition of a family pit and sleeping loft. Then, with the second child, the addition of a spacious kitchen, all without architects or elaborate plans. My attitude toward building is kind of just, as you go, you'll see it evolve. Uh, I have a hard time putting down plans. Uh, I had to tear the hole in the house. I had to tear the section out of the house before I could see what I was going to build. I couldn't, I couldn't envision it before I tore that piece out of the house. The approach is not without problems. Excavation for one addition resulted in a foot of water inside the house with the first rains. Rough-hewn construction leads to drafty walls. The biggest cash expense has been for insulation to make the house warm and comfortable. The Ledbetters are ready for a more permanent structure of their own making, believing that the benefits of the owner-built house far outweigh the hassles, even on the first attempt. I think anybody can do it if they have the desire. There's a lot of time involved. Um, we were lucky enough to tone our lifestyle down to where our dollar needs were limited, and so we had a lot of time on our hands. And uh, if you have that time, you can do wonderful things and create a very comfortable home that's much more livable than if you pay somebody else to do the, do the job for you. From the coastal mountains of Curry County, this is Bill Bradbury reporting.